What's up, y'all? So I've been diving into Crusader Kings 3 over the last couple of weeks. If you're anything like me being new to games from these developers, then the game was a little bit overwhelming coming into it. So in order to alleviate some of that pain, I wanted to go through individual mechanics of this game one by one and just kind of break them down so that new players can get a start faster than I was able to. To me, control is just one of those no-brainer things that you just have to take care of in your realm, particularly when it's inside of your own domain. Because your domain is where most of your income is going to be coming from early on in your campaign. For those of y'all that are brand new, your domain is the holdings that you directly control and they are not your vassals. You directly control these territories and you get the full amount of taxes and income from them. So it is very important that you maximize the income coming from these holdings so that you can maximize your income in your campaign. And this relates to control because control directly impacts both your levies and your taxes that the holding outputs. Another thing that's important is that you smash the YouTube like button so that you can see more juicy Crusader Kings 3 content. So taking a look at an example, I'm going to zoom into Dublin here and take a look at its control. As you can see, it has a control of 72 and it's it's this low because I had just recently been sieged by some enemy forces. And once your settlement becomes under siege, your control in that holding becomes reduced by a certain amount. I don't have an exact number for that, but it does reduce your control when your territories are besieged by the enemy. Now, hovering over the control value itself, you can see the actual effects that the low control has on the holding. So as you can see here, the 72 control value is reducing the levies in the county by 13% and the taxes by 27%. And this is at a control value of 72, which may not even seem that bad, but it has a significant impact on the income that this holding is outputting, as long as this control value stays this low. This is why I said that maximizing your control in your own domain is a no-brainer thing to do because you can't just maintain a low control and take a 27% reduction in your income over the long term. So getting this up to 100 is absolutely a priority. So let's take a look at a holding that has even lower control. So I'm zooming over to Kanat uh, here, and it has a control of 41, which reduces its taxes by 58% and its levies by 29%. So going from 72 to 41, you're literally doubling the impact that this has on your economy. Now this value does improve over time slowly, if you zoom over the control value, you can see that it has a monthly increase here in this case of 0.9. Point 0.1 of that is coming from the base. So that's without any buffs to it or any advancements that I've taken to improve my control gain in my counties. So you have a base value of 0.1, which is not very fast. And while it does naturally increase over time, one thing that you can do to drastically improve your control gain and get to 100 as fast as possible is use your marshal to increase control in that county. So let me show you what that looks like. Swapping over to my council here and going to my marshal, you can see the three actions that you can take. The bottom action here is increase control in county, which is the one I always swap to when I see a county that's in my domain that has a low control. Zooming over this action, you can see the actual values that your marshal's ability gives you when you use this action. You can see that it's increasing the odds of removing county corruption by a certain percentage, and it's also increasing base amount of gain of control in that county that you're using it on. We'll go into county corruption here in a minute, but let's uh, take a look at the actual impact that using this action has on improving the control of this county. Right now, this action is already being used on this county, and it's increasing the rates of control gain in this county by 0.4. So comparing that to what it would be like without it, if I take the action off of the county, it is increasing at a monthly rate of 0.5. And if I put it back on, it is increasing at a rate of 1.3. So by using this action, you're nearly tripling the rate at which you increase the control in this county. And county corruption was brought up earlier, but the flat rate that control impacts your levies and taxes, not the only downside to it. The longer you have low control in your county, the greater the chance that you're going to get some form of county corruption popping up on it. This corruption can be seen in the panel for the holding in the top right corner. In this case, I have the uncooperative guilds county corruption penalty, and it has various effects based on what the actual corruption is. So in this case, you know, I have slowed building construction time. It costs more to build buildings, and this is all due to having low control. 
So this is at a random chance based on your control value. There's like some percent chance over time that you start acquiring this corruption. So another thing that the increased control and county action from the marshal does is it has a percent chance every month to remove this corruption that's already on there and no further corruption can be added as long as you have this action on the holding. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of downsides to having little control in your county is just 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 put the action on there, maximize it, get it back up to 100 as quick as possible, and then move on to whatever else you want your marshal to do. It's just absolutely critical that you get this control value up to its maximum value so that you are making full income from your domain. That about wraps it up for this video. It's super important that you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm if you'd like to see more Crusader Kings 3 content. I'll catch y'all next time.